Hello? Hey, sweetie. Ready for a big hike today? Hey, yeah, I guess so. Uh, how high are we going again? It's only 4,000 feet. Uh, okay. This better be worth it. I'll see you then. Okay, love you. Love you too. If it goes well, it'll be worth it for both of us. Hi, honey. You ready to do this? I'm not sure if I can do this on my own, but my friend Mr. Captain here might be able to help me. So, uh, Lauren, I've been thinking since we've been together for about 20 years now, we've done a lot together. You're my everything. I was thinking we take this relationship to the next step. Oh my! Are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? I'm a doctor. I can help. Bro, I think she's going to be all right. Um, well, let's see. Let me check her vitals. Um, so usually what the problem is here is alcohol causes hypoventilation. And the combination of that with being at altitude causes a loss of consciousness because being at altitude gives you um, hypoxia exposure. And so at high elevations, the barometric pressure here, I think it's a, it's a lot lower than it is down at sea level. And so there's less oxygen, there's a less driving force for oxygen. And so that will cause more hypoxemia. Okay, and in this case, uh, our peripheral cumulative receptors usually respond to hypoxemia by increasing our ventilatory response to increase the partial pressure of oxygen back to normal levels. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, but since alcohol intoxication in this case, and she drank the whole, the whole bottle here, uh, this makes a decrease in tidal volume happen. And when that happens, the respiratory depression reduces oxygen delivery to the brain. And, well, that makes you faint, you know. And bottom line is here, you know, bro, you gotta, you gotta get her to stop drinking. What happened? I mean, you fainted. Who was that? That guy has a doctor. He told me his theory, and I believe him. He said you were hypoventilating. Wait, what's hypoventilating? Okay, I think you're gonna have to stop drinking so much, Lauren. I don't want to lose you, and this is already scary enough. Uh, Jason Quinn. It's because you're embarrassed of me, right? It's over. What? Lauren, what are you talking about? 20 years? Yes, I did it. Oh, Boo Boo, can you get that for me? Sure. Jason, guess what? I did it. I hiked up Mount Hamilton. You were right. I can do it without alcohol. I'm so sorry I was a horrible person two years ago. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? Hi, Lauren. Um, this is Jessica, Jason's fiance. What do you think, Jason? Jason, wake up. We were having a discussion about preparing to ascend to altitude, Jason. You need to really try to stay awake, buddy. Dr. Phil, I would mm -hmm. say that respiratory depressants like alcohol should be avoided when going to altitude. Okay, go on. Well, like you mentioned, when you go to altitude, the barometric pressure, or atmospheric pressure, is much lower. So this lower atmospheric pressure leads to lower partial pressure of oxygen which refers to the amount of oxygen in the air, which leads to a decreased diffusion of oxygen in the blood. As we learned from Dr. Phil, diffusion is the movement of molecules from a higher concentration to lower concentration. And diffusion is less when the, con the difference between the two concentrations is less. This leads to hypoxemia, which is the lower content or, of oxygen in the blood which then leads to hypoxia, which is the low content of oxygen going to the tissues. We also discussed the role of peripheral chemoreceptors. And peripheral chemoreceptors are the cells in the body that sense the change in oxygen in the blood. Mm -hmm. These chemoreceptors respond to this change by increasing our breathing. But if we're discussing the effects of respiratory depressions on this process, I would say that substances like alcohol, since it decreases the rate of breathing, and make it harder for our body to increase the level of oxygen. Right. Good. Well, Jason, maybe you could learn something from that. Um, well, that's all I have for today, so class dismissed, and have a good day.